In this video, we will resize disk on an Amazon EC2 server. Search for EC2. Click on the EC2. Now we have one instance running. Click on Instances. Click on the Instance ID. Click on the storage to view the attached volumes. We have one block device. The size is 50 GB. To resize the disk, click on the volume ID. Before you resize, it is better take a snapshot. For that, click on create snapshot. Then give it a description before resize. And click on create snapshot. Close. Now go to the snapshots you will see the snapshot is taking it will take approx uh, it will take some time to finish once this snapshot is finished you can resize the volume snapshot is finished now you can give it a name for easy identification before resize go back to the instances go to storage click on the inst volume id you can see the volume size is 50 GB now. Right click on the volume. Select modify volume from the menu. You can enter the new size here. For this server, I need 100 GB. Now click on modify. This will give you instruction for how to resize the volume in the OS. If you just resize the volume here, it will not change the volume size in Linux. All it do is you purchase more disk space from Amazon. Once you've done that, you need to log into your server and run few commands to resize, resize the partition. You can, this is a Linux server. So, so I have to follow this instruction under the Linux link. Click on the link, open in new tab, click on yes. Now the volume size is changed. You can see that by refreshing this page, click on the refresh icon. Now the volume size is 100 GB here. But if you log into the server, let us get the IP. For this server, you can go to the net details. This is the IP address. So let us log into the server. To see the disk space available, enter df-h. It is still showing 50 GB disk space. To see the total disk space available on the server, you, you can run parted, my, uh, parted then the device name. Uh, this is the device name. The P1 means partition 1. This is the actual device name. So you have to remove the P1 part. After the device name, you need to type print. That will print the partition table on this device. And, and type ignore. The disk is now 107 GB. So we are only using 57 G, 53 GB of 107 GB. Normally, if you reboot the server, the disk space get corrected. If that did not work, we need to resize the partition. Let us log in back to the server. Now run df-h to see the partition size. Now it is 99 GB. We are all good. The disk get resized. Sometimes it won't get resized, then you have to follow the instruction on this page. 